Trade relations between China and Japan are getting more complicated as three employees of the Maru Beni Columbia Grain Trading Company in China have been detained by Chinese authorities. A report from Reuters said it was an arrest over allegations the trading company evaded taxes on soybean imports. China Beat reported on April 11th that the Chinese banks wouldn't issue letters of credit to grain buyers in China and that Panamax ships full of grain from Brazil and the U.S. were being turned away. Some of those grain buyers included Maro Beni. Then on April 14th, Maro Beni in China was named as one of the buyers that couldn't get letters of credit. The Reuters report then stated that they lost roughly $4 million in grain sales because they were denied the loan for soybeans bound for Chinese buyers. In total, there were $300 million worth of grain sales lost, mostly soybeans from Brazil and the U.S. Then this morning, we hear that there is alleged tax evasion behind the issue. Reuters cites two sources that one of the Marubeni staff being held is Zhang Wenjing, a trading executive with Columbia Grain. Zhang was taken in for allegedly evading taxes for soybean shipments sold to a crusher in the Shandong province. The Chinese traders practice a common worldwide trade in grain called delayed pricing. Sellers typically offer Chinese buyers a delayed pricing mechanism that allows importers to place orders based on a preliminary price. Buyers are then able to fix prices based on futures prices from the Chicago Board of Trade when the cargoes arrive in China or as late as a month after their arrival. This final price would be the actual valuation of the cargo. U.S. soy prices have risen by more than 12 percent so far in the year. Both parties may have underreported the actual value of the cargo. China's Customs Authority is familiar with the practice of delayed pricing in commodities trade and has provisions in place allowing companies to adjust the declared cargo value. It isn't clear if the import duties and value-added tax are in question because of the price fluctuations in delayed purchases.